Hi guys, what's the deal Wednesday? It's going to be a new series of mine where I'm going to try different makeup hacks and techniques that's been circling around the internet. As long as it's safe, cruelty-free, and paw-friendly, I will try them out for you and let you guys know that what's really the deal with all these makeup hacks. On today's video, I am going to test out this flawless foundation hack that it's been going around. But first, I want to let you guys know that my skin type is dry combination, meaning my T-zone gets oily while the rest of my face are dry. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to the video. Okay, so like always, you are going to start with moisturizer. I'm using my current favorite by e.l.f. But prior to that, I applied my toner. Next, you're going to follow by your face primer. It's pretty much how you normally prep and prime your face prior to your foundation and I'm using my absolute favorite at the moment it's by Pure Cosmetics. Now this is where the hack come into play. You're supposed to put powder all over your face first and it's advised to use a translucent powder. Now why translucent I honestly don't know. I guess it's colorless and it won't add additional color into your foundation I guess but here I'm just placing it all over my face with a puffy thingy majigs. Now you you may apply your foundation. I am using this NARS Sheer Glow right here that um, I actually got a sample from Sephora and I'm applying it with a brush because it already dried out which is a huge mistake because since it's already dried out I had a tough time blending it into my skin so I had to delete that and repeat the process. it works the wet n wild foundation all right I'm gonna blend it using the same beauty blender Ooh, it's working this time Just blend that to my ears see that I mean my foundation right now is darker but it will oxidize trust me it'll be my shade I guess it, it looks a little darker from my skin tone right now because of the white stuff but it'll get better trust me forehead now I usually correct the discoloration here at first but I didn't this time Ooh. <laughs> But I noticed that now my brush, my brush, why I keep calling you brush? My beauty blender is now, damn, I mean dry, like extremely dry. All right, this is the finished look. I guess you have to set it again with the powder and I'm gonna do that. But so far it looks flawless, but feels dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And I already did my concealer and set it with the Benai Banana Powder. I really don't feel like setting it with another powder because it already feels so dry right now. But for the sake of this, Test. I'm gonna go set my the rest of my face with the cover 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 FX mattifying matte setting powder in medium. This is how it looks like. And I'm gonna use these again. This is gonna be rough. I guess this technique is great for people that has oily skin, but for dry skin. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see how long this will last. Right now, it looks extremely matte and flawless, but I really don't like this kind of um, finish because I like a little bit of TV because I'm on the drier side of skin spectrum. All right, I'm gonna blend everything with my Kabuki brush. There it is, guys. Revealing. Earlier, you can still kind of see my veins. It's gone right now. I mean, not gonna lie, it looks flawless. It doesn't feel heavy, but it feels really, really dry. Because I have dry skin. Even though I lathered up with the moisturizer earlier, it still feels really dry. 
But uh, this is the final look, I mean the final outcome of the foundation. It feels like it will last me a very very long time. I'm gonna be going out tonight and I will check back with you guys um, when I get home. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So this is the foundation after I finished my makeup. I'm not gonna lie, it looks so nice and flawless on camera and in person. And it made my sheer to medium coverage foundation looks full coverage. As you guys can see, I applied a $4.99 foundation. It made it look like I applied a full coverage high-end foundation. So how does it feel on the face? It feels like tight on my skin and dry. Like I mentioned earlier, I have dry combination skin, especially on my cheek area, and it feels really really tight in there normally I would set everything with a setting spray but I didn't at this time since I do really want to test out this foundation hack and how long it will last on me and now for my final verdict I mean, other than feeling dry and tight on my skin, I actually do like this hack. And I feel like it will last me for more than 12 hours. As you guys can see, it almost it's almost 4 o'clock in the morning and my foundation still look the same. Normally, I would have cracked in some cakiness on the side of my nose. But as you guys can see, the foundation stayed intact. I was actually super duper surprised. On my cheek area, normally I would have some flakiness going on in there. But again, nada. As you guys can see, the foundation remained the same. So I think this hack works and i would see myself doing it again but in more moderate version meaning i would probably just apply the translucent powder on my t-zone area where i normally get oily or when my foundation normally crack after a few hours i think it also a great hack especially for oily skin people because it literally controlled the oil on my areas where i usually get oily especially now that the warm weather is coming you know what i mean overall i approve this hack it is tested i am super duper impressed i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up what makeup hacks you guys want me to do next or try next let me know on the comment section below thank you thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys on my next one i love you